check check all right i think this is working good evening everyone and welcome to a very special nashville meets london event in partnership with the royal albert hall as part of their royal albert home series this is amazing we are very proud to be working with a venue as prestigious as the royal albert hall and it's been fun putting the show together so thank you to everyone involved in making tonight happen including you guys who are tuning in thanks for tuning in you're gonna love this my name is matt spracklin and i'm part of the team here at nashville meets london i'm also a presenter on country hits radio playing all of today's best country whilst also celebrating british country music on a specialist show every sunday called country hits brits we've got an amazing show for you tonight we've got 20 we've got michael ray we've got tenille towns and we've got the Cadillac 3 and a little bonus for you as well. So before we kick off, let me tell you a little bit about Nashville Meets London. It's headed up by Matt and Christy at Aristo Media, Peter Conway Management and myself. Nashville Meets London exists to support and showcase international country and Americana from Nashville to London and back again. The festival most recently held at Canada Square Park in Canary Wharf has seen Lauren Elena, Ashley Campbell, Sam Outlaw, Russell Dickerson, and many more US acts take the stage alongside British country artists like Holloway Road, uh, Laura Oakes, Megan O'Neill, and of course, many, many more of them too. We also have the Nashville Meets London Presents Nights, our monthly residency at Pizza Express in Holborn. There's the Nashville Meets London River Cruise in partnership with Buck and Ball Saloon, a brilliantly fun cruise down the River Thames with live music. What's not to love about that? And also during the lockdown, we've launched the Nashville Meets London sessions, live streams, enabling artists to reach their fans and the NML faithful with their music, which leads us right up to tonight. And this collaboration with the Royal Albert Hall, the Royal Albert Home. We remain committed to showcasing new and emerging talent and developing our growing reputation as music tastemakers. We are actually due to announce the date and new location for the festival this month, but of course COVID-19 put an end to those plans and we hope to be back stronger and bigger in 2021. And lastly, it wouldn't be right to tell you all about National Meets London without mentioning Jeff Walker, who was instrumental in the founding of this festival after he and Peter Conway dreamt it up together in Nashville, Tennessee, back in 2015. Well, Jeff sadly passed away later that year, but his legacy runs through the heart of Nashville meets London. So now you know all about Nashville meets London, let's get this night underway with our first artist of the evening, and she's had quite the journey already. From appearing on a big screen in movies and TV shows, to signing a major record deal in 2017, she's one of the hardest working, road hitting artists here in the UK. She's played a country to country and gave an incredible performance at Nashville Meets London Festival just last year. She's toured with Kiefer Sutherland. She won Best Breakthrough Act at the BCMA Awards 2019 and recently released her stunner of a debut album, Hollywood Gypsy. And with tracks playlisted across Radio 2 and Country Hits Radio, she was set to embark on her first headlining tour the week before lockdown struck this year and so postponed it for the safety of her fans. It's been a big couple of years, huh? I'm, of course, talking about the awesome Twinny, and we are thrilled to have her with us to kick this special night off. Here's Twinny. Hi, guys. It's Twinny here. Uh, I'm super excited to be joining you this evening. Thank you so much to Nashville Meets London and the Royal Albert Hall for having us. Um, I just released in April, April 17th, my debut album, There She Is, Hollywood Gypsy, so we are gonna be uh, performing a few songs off the record. And actually, this will be the first gig um, that we've done together um, since lockdown started. So we are very excited and I hope you enjoy it. And if you like what you hear, um, please go check out the album. Uh, we're gonna kickstart things off with the title track called Hollywood Gypsy. And I love this song so much. Um, it, it's just about my life and pays homage to the people in the town that made me and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I'm not married and I don't have kids, got a village, no my business. I grew in between two worlds, but I knew what I wanted to be. I was smoking at the age of 10, I was driving a white transit then on the mirror. Hanging disco ball, putting glitter on the dashboard. I'm like my father. I like to wander. I'll fit in, roll with the crowd. If all my friends could see me now, everybody knows my name. They name me after my aunt. 
issues with me and uh, I wrote this one with him and Sam Ellis and it was we started the session and we actually didn't finish the song and bless them both uh, believed in this song so much they came in on a Saturday and uh, it was I think it was CMA week so everything was so busy and uh, they made time for me and I'm super grateful because this was one of the last songs to be put on the record and I absolutely Love it. So cheers boys for coming in on a Saturday and working with me and finishing it off. This is feeling like a mm -hmm. It's not the caffeine, not my anxiety that's keeping me up all night. Not the news on the TV, my job getting to me. It's got my mind in overtime. All I know is like a roller coaster Climbing to the edge, just creeping closer And I can't see the ground beneath Kind of free, kind of scared The feeling of falling
this next song is called Daddy Issues. Um, apparently on this album I love writing about my issues, so there you go. If he were a car that didn't start Could be a cherry red Ferrari You'd still leave that thing in park and wish it's had You'd find another ride If he were paid I'm Louis V's birthday with three sizes too small, may I feebly You'd leave him on display for someone else to take my triumph on But never take him home Why do good, good women stay with bad, bad men? It's no sunshine or roses till you say Boyfriend, then they go changing So don't blame them for the bed that you lie in Let's hold this long goodbye 
Um, so this next song is called I Love You Now Change and it's actually my current single. Call me wild, free and sexy I can't be tame, that's why you like me Nothing wrong with my lips with the kiss and you But you don't like it when I tell the honest truth you pick, 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 pick me apart But you're gone, 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 gone way too far You say I love you, now change Keep nothing the same And that's something in the story that you take back Now that you see me, now I'm all in I love you, my babe But do it my way You can try with the games, but you can't make me play Out to be a great decision. I'll never be what you see inside your head. It's okay to walk away from her and stay. I'm not a tick, 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 tick on your list. And I'm getting sick, 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 so sick of this. You say I love you. Something in the story that you take back Now that you see me now I'm all unwrapped I love you, my babe But do it my way You can try with your games But you can't make me play Cause you ain't gonna change me You can't try But you ain't gonna change me You can't try But you ain't gonna change me 
doesn't mean I need you, I see you I'm trying to change me, I don't need to, I hear you Nothing new, tell the truth Can't do all the things that you want me to do Sometimes, wanna run away from this love Cause you make me feel like I ain't enough But I am enough, and I'm giving up Trying to be who you want me to be yeah. And something in the story for the the last song you know mix it up um and thank you so much for being such an incredible audience to be honest i never pictured me playing the royal albert hall like this but there you go it's the new normal um thank you to nashville meets london um and thank you to my incredible band that i miss very much are they great give, give a round of applause i presume you're clapping right now um, this last song is called Better When I'm Drunk. It was um, the first song that I ever put out. Uh, yeah, thank you again for being such a great audience and I hope to see you soon in person. Lots of love. It's not cool, baby, the way you're my treating me. Playing games for so long. I'm gonna find another guy. There's a sour taste in my mouth every time it gets to I'll let you leave me high and dry Just when I think I've had enough In that bite I'm learn to mind One shot, two shots, single mold You taste better when I'm on the sound I like you better when I'm drunk Better intoxicated I like you better when I'm drunk Keep them coming I called you, said too much I can't take back Never again, I don't want to be a friend I delete your number, God put you in the past Just when I think I've had enough Then the bartender lines them up One shot, two shots, single one You taste better Love that. Thanks, Twinny. That was brilliant. Make sure you check out that debut album, Hollywood Gypsy. And we're going to head straight across to our next artist. And we're thrilled to have him with us tonight. He signed to Warner Music earlier into his career. He released his debut album in 2015. He's toured with Darius Rucker, Old Dominion, Sam Hunt. I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> and he's no stranger to the UK either. Having played the Spotlight Stage at C2C at the O2 Arena and an intimate show at Bush Hall as part of Country Music Week. You're going to love this. Here's Michael Ray. 
What's going on everybody? It's Michael Ray. So honored to be a part of the Royal Albert Hall, Royal Albert Home Concert Series. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, I know this is a crazy, crazy time for everybody, but um, hope you are all feeling the love. Um, and, and I know that we're all in this together. Uh, we've just been praying for everybody and cannot wait to come out on the other side so we can finally get back uh, to life and being able to fly over and see you guys in person and play our songs for you guys because there's nothing better than uh, being over there and, and having your songs sung back to you. It's, it's an incredible thing and um, y'all just inspire me. Every time I play a show in the UK, I've been fortunate and very lucky to play uh, a couple times now. And every time I leave, just fired up and ready to, uh, ready to, to write or or just play more shows, y'all. You know, your passion uh, for music is is contagious, and it's really really cool. Um, I'm glad that we live in a time like this where we can have these things and uh, at, at our fingertips and technology be able to at least bring some music uh, and hopefully put a smile on your face and, and get your mind off of everything that's going on for a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna start this thing off with a song that was the uh, big number one for me uh, here in the states. It was the last song that we released on my debut album and um, the song we never played live and when it came time to pick the single we went to see what y'all were listening to and this was one of my most streamed songs and I never played it live and so this is truly the song that y'all made uh, number one from the beginning all the way uh, to the end of it so so it's called Thank A Little Less wherever you're at right now wherever you're watching this did you get ready to sing? Hope you have a drink in your hand. Hope you're, if you're not driving. Hope you're hanging out with your loved ones. And you better be singing this as loud as you can. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Midnight's creeping in, we know that. Leaving here together in case you want. And the reasons not to, baby, we got to kiss a little more, think a little less, burn it up a night like a cigarette, get you out of this bar, out of that dress. Kiss a little more, kiss a little more, think a little less. Start asking you to look them in the eyes Tell a white lie How I dropped you off at home And I walked you to the door Nothing more Tomorrow you can say we're just friends But baby, till then We can kiss a little more Think a little less Burning up at night like a cigarette Get you out of this bar Out of that dress Kiss a little more more than a little less. Now the woman will true. If you want to hop, then you give a minute or two. Say goodbye to your friends. We gotta go home, but we gotta get gone. Cause we've already waited way too long to kiss a little more. Only thing we've been thinking about doing since the moment, girl, we met. Kiss a little more, think a little less. Burn it up at night like a cigarette. Get you out of this bar, out of that dress. Kiss a little more, kiss a little more. Kiss a little more, think a little less. Burn it up at night like a cigarette. Get you out of this. Think a little less. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you guys. Hope you're all having a great time. Um, again, so appreciative of being able to be a part of this. And uh, it's definitely, definitely helped take my mind off all the things going on in the world right now. Um, this next song is my new single on um, Country Radio and, and one of my favorite songs that I've ever recorded. Probably one of the most real songs uh, to me um, that I've recorded. And I was living in this area of this song. I was going through a breakup and, and you know, just a weird time uh, in general. And uh, it's a confusing time. And so I um, was writing and writing and writing, trying to get this out, uh, what I wanted to say. And I thought I had it. And then I heard this next song and I heard the work tape. And the work tape of this, or work tape means uh, when writers finish a song, a lot of times they will just use the phone uh, for a quick demo, the work tape. And, uh, very rarely are those heard anymore. And uh, I was actually very fortunate to, to have gotten to hear this song before they even took it to make a big demo out of it. And uh, man, it, it, I felt like the writers were following me around for the last six months of my life. They just nailed every line of what I was going through. And um, I know I had to record it because I knew that if I've lived it, y'all have lived it. And uh, we're in this together. And uh, it's a song I needed to hear. And I wanted to make sure that y'all got to hear it. And it's sitting right now top 20 here in the States. And um, thank y'all so much for, for singing it back uh, when I was over there in October. And just to, to hear your stories uh, is it, it, so motivating and, and why we do what we do. Um, so wherever you're at, sing this with me. The song's called Her World or Mine. One of us still has our picture taped up on the dash. One of us took that one from Mexico, threw it in the trash. One of us don't even notice the radio plays that song. One of us breaks down and has to pull over whenever it comes on. Ain't no in between when it comes to her and me. One of us moved on, one of us got stuck, one of us is drinking just for fun, one of us is drinking to get drunk, one of us sleeps good, one of us hates to face a man. It just depends if you're talking about her world or mine. There's a number on the phone. One of us erased. There's a late night, can we try again? Call one of us wants to make. One of us can't even think about being in another's arms. And there's a car in the drive that stayed all night where one of us used to park. One of us moved on. One of us got stuck. One of us is drinking just for fun. One of us is drinking to get one of us sleeps good, but one of us hates to face it now. This depends if you're talking about her world or mine. For a while we had forever in our hands. That's why one of us can't understand How one of us moved on One of us got stuck One of us is drinking just for fun One of us 
us is drinking to get drunk. One of us sleeps good. One of us hates to face the night. Just depends if you're talking about her world or mine. Yeah, that's the difference between her world and mine. Thank you, guys. I wish I could uh, could hear y'all feel about for the energy. Um, let's see. Um, uh, this next song. Let's try this. This next song was my last, not my first single off of Amos, uh, my second album, and uh, different song than, than vocally um, that, that I have ever put out, and also one of my favorite songs. Um, love this song. Had, it was it was uh, it was again it was a story of a time in my life where I was living through this and and uh, the song it's funny how music does that it just finds you at the right time when you need it and that's what the song did for me and uh, I'm gonna try to do it here for you uh, in a basement in Florida um, by myself no band uh, which I don't do a lot so please sing this one with me I'm, I'm gonna need your help. Somebody had to break your heart in two That ain't me Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why You can look me in the eye What am I supposed to do? You say we're through Why do you run away, run away from love? What the hell are you so scared of? Walk away when you've had enough of trying of trying Girl, there's always gonna be some pain A little sunshine, a little rain Doesn't mean it ain't working, babe I'm trying, I'm trying to get to you To you those walls, somebody's gonna watch you fall, you're gonna give it your all and I hope that I'm around when you finally find out why you run away, run away from love, what the hell are you so scared of, walk away when you've had enough of trying, of trying, Girl, there's always gonna be some pain. Little sunshine, a little rain Doesn't mean it ain't worth it, babe I'm trying, I'm trying to get to you To you So tell me why, tell me why, tell me why You can't look me in the eye am I supposed to do? You say we're through. Why do you run away, run away from love? What the hell are you so scared of? Walk away when you've had enough of trying, of trying. Girl, there's always going to be some pain. A little sunshine, a little rain. Doesn't mean it ain't worth it, babe. I'm trying to get to you. 
gave up that that somebody had to break your heart into that ain't guys so i got one more song left and uh again hope everybody's doing uh, as best they can uh during these times and i hope you feel the love uh from all of us and uh, just thank you again for always loving our music thank you for loving my music thank you for letting me uh be able to come over there and um and, and live in y'all's world for a little bit it's such an honor um something that i don't take for granted and um, we look forward to and we're honestly want to be able to go over there uh this year again and play some more shows acoustic and uh do a cool storyteller tour but um you know the coronavirus and everything going on obviously i uh, can't do that but hopefully um whenever all this lifts off we can we can make that happen so um been asked a lot what i've been doing during this time uh carly and i majority of the time we're in um alabama uh close to her mom and her dad and we uh i've been making a record uh, album number three started making album number three during all this but it's been pretty crazy but been fun and interesting uh again grateful that we have the opportunity to uh to do that and, and be able to continue to make new music to uh, get it out to you guys and so uh yeah excited to get some new music out soon i think it's gonna be sooner than uh even we think so we just been cutting it in remote locations spread out uh different home studios and and making it happen but uh, that's what i've been doing i hope y'all been staying busy uh, as much as you can and and hopefully enjoying um, some family time um, if you're able to uh, to be quarantined with your family. This next song was a big hit for me, and um, people ask a lot of times, "What's one of your favorite parts of your show? Or the part that you look forward to seeing or, or playing?" I mean, uh, and it always is this one right here. Um, everybody just sings as loud as they can, and I want y'all to do the same wherever y'all are at right now. UK, sing this loud, even if you're on, even if you're on the tube. I don't care. Y'all got to sing it, and uh, hopefully I can hear you from over here. Here we go. The song's called One We Gotta Win. She's like a picture from an airplane window, always sunny up above the clouds. She's got a mouth full in your window, but she makes a sound in the She's decorating my heart, so she'll be breaking my heart. She's two wild horses, be all mad, be a beast, a bird, and all borrowed time. She's gonna rip off any kind of label. She's gonna leave them no strings untied, keeping it tax free under the table. She might only be mine tonight. That's alright, that's okay. She's gonna be one hell of a one that guy. She's decorating my heart, so she'll be breaking my heart. She's two 
while horses pay all that. He pays the bird and no borrow tap. She's gonna rip off the cattle label. She's in the leave and no strings attached. Keeping it tax free under the table. She might only be mine tonight. That's all right. Again, my name is Michael Ray. I hope y'all have some fun. Um, I had a blast being able to play some songs for you guys. Um, again, we're praying for everybody. Um, hope y'all feel the love. And uh, just thank you so much for always letting us uh, be able to be a part of your world and giving our music life over there in the UK. Um, we're all in this together. We are going to do our part. We're going to fight this and end this and uh, be able to get back together to all of your first responders, nurses, doctors, um, just want to say thank you. Um, if any of y'all are watching, uh, for, for putting it all at risk every day for all of us. Uh, we pray for you guys and, uh, our hearts are with you. And again, can't wait to see you guys. Royal Albert Hall, thank y'all for letting me be a part of this and, uh, we'll see y'all soon. Brilliant set from Michael Ray. That was awesome. Great to have him with us here tonight. Thanks, Michael. And now to our next performance. And I met this next artist about three years ago backstage in a tiny little room at Coco in London, where I was interview her for a TV show. And we had the most brilliant time talking about her music. And since then, she's been back to the UK several times to tour and play festivals such as the Country Hits Radio Hub as part of Country Music Week. Her debut album, Lemonade Stand, was released just a few weeks ago, and it's one of the albums of the year. It is brilliant from beginning to end. It's all killer, no filler, and so I'm so excited about hearing some of this music tonight. And so should you be. One of the finest songwriters in all of country music. Here is the sensational Tennille Towns. Hey everybody, it's Tennille Towns here. Hope everybody's doing all right. I'm sending so much love to everybody over in the UK right now in this crazy time of isolation and just grateful for the way music can still bring us together and um, wrap its arms around us. So it really is such a joy and a pleasure to be hanging here with Royal Albert Hall. What a legendary, incredibly beautiful venue that is definitely on my dream list to play someday. And uh, just glad to get to share some songs with you. So I'm originally from Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada, and I live in Nashville and love writing songs and singing them for people. So this one's called Where You Are. Seen the northern lights and heaven too old 
I would never stop. I'd keep searching for you around the clock. I sing your praises everywhere I go. You should know. You should know. I'd stand in any ticket Thank you for listening. I really wish we could all be in the same room, in the same beautiful venue uh, today, but but glad to still get to play you some songs, so thank you for listening. I just got to make a really exciting announcement that I am putting out my first official debut album. It's called The Lemonade Stand, and it's coming out into the world on June 26th, and I just can't even stand it. I'm so excited. These songs all mean so much to me, and it was just such a dream to get to disappear into the studio and, and make this music, and um, it, it's like just a crazy dream to get to put it out there now. So I can't wait for you to have it, um, and I'm going to play you guys some songs off of it. This is one called Holding Out for the One. Another party. Another late crowd, they got the music turned up all the way loud. Another hey girl, another lean in, another here we go, welcome to the weekend. Hey baby, what you drinking like? I don't know what you thinking, same damn lines every time. really close to my heart. This song um, was inspired by a group of people I met in a really small town that had just been through a hard car accident with five kids from their high school, um, four of which I had been hanging out all day with playing at their school and just had no idea what they'd been through. And one of the, one of the kids, her name was Danielle. She was a valedictorian. She just graduated with a full ride scholarship and 
star basketball player and she was killed in this fluke car accident. And I sat there and just wept with this teacher telling me about everything that town had been through. And I sat in the gym and saw her jersey hanging on the wall in memory. And I thought about the questions that I have for God. And I really, I think it's okay to ask those questions. I think there's healing in just the conversation itself. And um, shortly after that trip, um, one of my best friends back at home lost her little brother. And it just really put me in this place of spinning and more and more of those questions and grateful to uh, to turn to music in those moments to help me process how I feel about things and it means a lot to hear from you guys what what music and songs kind of translate to and in your story in your life too so sending a hug to anybody who needs it Jersey on the wall in a high school gym in my hometown in the corner by the scoreboard where the bleacher seats fold down 27 took the Tigers to the finals that year but that's not why it's hanging there no. if I ever get to play us a little bit of a, of a song called White Horse. I miss playing this song with my band. It's not quite the same without, so 
make sure to just imagine some electric guitars and a drum kit as I play this one for you. <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm going to play you one of my favorite songs that I just love to sing. I think this song sets the bar as one of the great, great classics and I sure hope to get to play this someday in the Royal Albert Hall. <laughs>
here we are in hanging in there. We have time for a couple more, I think. I just got to put this song out and uh, it's called The Most Beautiful Things and there's a voice that sings at the end of the recording of this song that's a little girl. She's seven years old and, and um, when she was in the studio singing on it, it just brought me to tears thinking about the seven-year-old kid that I used to be singing along to music in the backseat of the car and just dreaming of getting to do this someday and it very much feels like a crazy full circle to get to wake up and and do music and um so i'm, I'm excited to to share this this song is the, gonna be the last song on the record that's coming out so much for hanging today it's been such a joy to get to sing you some songs and and hang out here with the Royal Albert Hall I just absolutely can't wait to someday hopefully play that incredibly legendary building and I know these are really crazy just tough times right now and um, just wishing the best to anybody out there who needs a little cheering on and and if there's anyone in a position to to feel like giving towards the Royal Albert Hall, you can text to uh, text the word Albert to 70490 and um, make any donation that you choose. Um, this, this venue requires and relies on these shows to run in order to kind of keep the doors open. So thank you for coming together and putting your arms around it in a time like this. And 
thanks for listening and, and uh, hanging here this afternoon. Um, I am going to leave you guys with one last song. This, this, this is on the record. This is one of the first songs that I got to release out there. And it's a song that was inspired by a young girl I saw standing on the side of the interstate holding onto a cardboard sign and and uh, just wondering what her story is because we've all got a story out there so thanks for looking out for one another I drive home the same way two left turns off the interstate and she's always standing at the stoplight on 18th street she could be Sarah she could be for hanging. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Sending lots of love. <laughs> uh, amazing. That was amazing. Love that. Thank you so much to Neil. Everyone check out that debut album, Lemonade Stand, ASAP. And now, I can't even believe I'm saying this, we come to our last performance of the night already. What a night it's been. It's been so cool huh, to see all this come together. And we now have the most awesome band to close out the show, Born and Raised in Nashville, Tennessee. They went to school together and later formed a band that would go on to play country festivals with Keith Urban and For All of George Line one day and then fly to the UK and share a stage with Metallica and Slayer another day. It's mind blowing. Their latest album, Country Fuzz, came out earlier this year and it is huge. And you'll know by now that I'm talking about the Cadillac 3. This is gonna be awesome. But as a little bonus for you, I caught up with the boys on a Zoom call, as you do these days. So we're going to play that to you now, and then we're going to jump, jump straight into their set to sit tight and get ready for some all-American southern country rock here at the Cadillac 3. Thanks for joining me, guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey. I haven't done this on the phone yet. I'm using it at my computer. So. You're there. Oh, can you hear You're me? There. Okay, good. Yeah. Sweet. And who's the dog? Oh, oh that's uh, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> what what's your situation right now what's 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 uh, everyone doing we're pretty much all at home we've seen each other once in three and a half months so but yeah we're just trying to stay still trying to stay at home i mean they just uh our our mayor just enacted the uh everybody has to wear their mask now again because the case is spiking so we're just trying to do our trying to do our best you know Actually, do you know what? Before anything, I just want to say, like, thanks for writing Country Fuzz because it's a brilliant album. I love it. 
Oh, thanks, man. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. What, I feel like it's one of those albums that, so, certainly in the UK, if we focus on the UK a, a little bit, because obviously you played here and done some, done some cool stuff, has that opened up your audience a little bit more? Um, I think so, man. You know, like, going over there, I mean, playing in the, playing in the UK has been just a, you know, kind of a dream for us since the beginning. Everybody from the Tom Payne, the Heartbreakers, you know, and all that, you know, just seeing that kind of thing happen and being able to kind of take part in some something, you know, a little bit similar to where we're bigger over there than we are here technically um, has been really yeah. cool. And, and also to see the way country music in general has been kind of accepted over there and uh, embraced and just it keeps getting bigger and bigger. That's you know, that's really cool because, I mean, we're kind of singing about topics that, you know, aren't exactly – uh, extremely relatable to a lot to a lot of people that what living situation over there so it's it's really neat just to see people like embracing music and you know taking a band and and making us uh feel at home that far away however i don't know how i don't know when we're going to be able to come back over there <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know if we're going to leave our house this year we'll see it's crazy yeah with the album coming out so recently has has it felt like Time stood still, or does it feel like it was a long time ago? It feels like it was five years ago. Oh, really? <laughs> it's been three. It's been three months, but you know, it's just so much has happened. But you know, I'm glad that we. I'm glad that it's out there for people to listen to while everybody's at home. But you know, obviously, we're ready to. You know, we're trying to stay busy and and you know get together when we can and keep working on new stuff and that stuff. And you know, I'm just glad that it's out. I saw somebody post that today's the halfway mark of 2020 and that maybe the second half of 2020 is going to be just exceptionally fantastic because the first half has been so bad. <laughs> let's hope, yeah, I'm, not let's hold, so. I'm not holding my breath. Let's talk about the influences on the album as well. well I, songs like um, Slow Rolling, you know, that drop D sort of heavy rock sound. But like, I'm hearing so much like Rolling Stones on there as well. You know, like the Blue and Lonesome album. Do you all bring separate influences into your sound? Because it is so unique. It is a unique sound for a southern rock country band, e even a southern rock country band. Like, how does that all, how does that all work? Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, I we all grew up good. together, man. And so it's, we, we did grow up listening to a lot of the same stuff. But I also think each of us, you know, growing up in our own households had a handful of bands and artists that we would listen to that the others didn't. And so I think we've all influenced each other. You know, it's like, Kelby was listening to like Hank Jr. and a lot of like Southern rock stuff and old school country stuff. And, you know, Jaron introduced me to a lot of the rock stuff that I'd never heard before. And I was listening to a lot of like Tom Petty and Neil Young and things like that. And so I think all of us have really kind of brought little bits and pieces into the mix. And then just knowing each other since we were kids, we've, we kind of have grown up playing together. And so it's melded into this thing that is what TC3 sounds like. What he said. <laughs> you know, if you if you were to sit and have a conversation with with our whole fan base, it is pretty interesting because if you're just at a show, yeah, I mean, you could see, I guess, anything from a Metallica T-shirt to a Alan Jackson T-shirt or a, you know, a Rolling Stones T-shirt to a which uh, is awesome. Yeah, yeah, which is great. You know, <laughs> that's what you want to do is have a band that appeals to lots of different people. So it's awesome. How does it feel to play this show? It's super cool. It, this is the first live stream that we got asked to do in quarantine that we said yes to, and it was an immediate yes, because A, we wanted to do something over in the UK as quickly as we could, and B, any any association with Royal Albert Hall is something that we wanted to be a part of, you know, and obviously Nashville meets London as well. They're good friends of ours, and so it's, it's pretty cool and it was also it was it was fun as people I guess will be seeing like for us to try and figure out how to record in quarantine because we weren't all hanging out uh in the same place so we really we had to experiment and kind of figure out how to do that but it was it came together really cool definitely a cool thing I'm glad that we you know we were able to do I'm glad we were asked to do it and you know if we can't be there in person at least we can be there virtually so it's very it's an honor in, for sure I mean I was in Florida for God's sake <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> I'm on my front porch, like on, in that that whole live stream. It's, it's just nuts, man. It's awesome. Until then, love one another and wash your hands and not touch your faces. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. 
thanks so much again guys for joining me it's a pleasure for me to chat to you love the music love you guys what you thanks, do man. and hopefully we'll hang out proper some point when we're all together uh, thanks, man. Days, bud. See you soon. thank you Got cold beer in my car. A pretty girl hopping out of my truck. I got the cable popping out of the day. JBL 12 stay. Tom Way, Johnny Camero had a sort of thing of Jim Bean Black label. Zip, zip, pass. Zan spot, no one knows just me. And my boots and my special lady friends shaking that ass. We got it all. The millions of a Saturday night. Got the tall bulls, tall just sitting on ice. Wintergreen, fresh skin, baby got a spray tan. Circled up trucks, a lot of wet lights. We got it all. The makings of a Saturday night. A sundown, fire burning, just out of town, and no concerning. I turn off a cell phone, smoke a little homegrown. Instagram can't wait till the morning. We got all the makings of a Saturday night. Got the tall bulls, dogs, just sitting on ice. Wintergreen, fresh can baby, got a spray tan. Circled up trucks, and the lot of wet lights. And all the makings of a Saturday night.
good was that how good was that huge from the cadillac three and what a way to round off the night it's been a brilliant night and from everyone here at nashville meets london a special thank you to royal albert hall and a big thank you to every one of you who tuned in tonight i hope you enjoyed it you can follow nashville meets london on instagram and twitter and on facebook too where you can catch those nml live streams every week and watch some of the ones you might have missed back and most of all we look forward to seeing each and every one of you for real when live music is back See you soon. Good night. Thank you so much for tuning into Royal Albert Home. My name is Craig Hassel. I'm the Chief Executive of the Royal Albert Hall, which sadly has had to close its doors for the first time since the Blitz. So while we can't welcome you to the Hall, we can share these concerts with you from artists' homes to yours. If you are able to donate even the fraction of a price of a ticket, you'll be helping us look after our staff and look after our beautiful building during this lockdown. Please simply text Albert to 70490 to donate five pounds or donate any amount at all online at royalalberthall.com. Thank you.